Now that an event setting has been created, let's go ahead and create your first event. Navigate back to the App Launcher and select Events Admin. Then click on Events and create a new record. Go ahead and give your event a name. Define the time zone that the event is in. Status. With the event settings, because you marked your event setting as the default, there's no need to define it here. Once you click save, it will automatically be added. Go ahead and mark it as free. Give a category if you would like. From there, let's go ahead and define a start date and end date. The event page URL is automatically going to generate when you click save. For the image URL, let's pick an image from Google and copy the image address. There are other ways to include images within your event and those instructions are included in this video. Define the description for your event. I'm going to include some additional rich text features. Um, this supports hyperlink text and also images. Attendee link will go over that in another video. We'll also go through the code settings in a different video, but for right now, let's go ahead and set that value to hide. Then define your contact us email. This is the email that will receive all contact us forms. Set post registration to show success message. You can also include a redirect URL. Then define the registration success message. The Wi-Fi message, network, and password are all fields where you can input information about the Wi-Fi access for your event. Next, to find the venue. So go ahead and set the name, street, city, state, country, and postal code. Next, define your total capacity for the event if there is one. The other fields under the attendance summaries section are for when attendees are related to your event with different registration statuses. We'll cover the budget and expense sections in a different video. Go ahead and click Save. Now when your event record saves, you can navigate and click on the event URL. And there you go. There's your event. It looks pretty plain right now with not a lot of information, but now you can go back into your event setting and your event records and update as you see fit.